Hey guys, Dr. Nate here at Thrive Dental and Orthodontics, and today I wanna to talk to you about the four types of malocclusions or bad bites or not pretty bites and how you fix them with just some rubber bands and some braces. So the question is this, how do we get better, more informed patients and run successful businesses? How can I get the information I've learned from opening multiple dental offices and treating thousands of patients out to you? Those are the questions and my weekly videos will give you the answers. My name is Dr. Nate and welcome to the Thrive Dental and Orthodontics channel. All right guys, Dr. Nate here, and let's talk about the four types of bites and how we're gonna fix them. First off, mention what type of bites or malocclusions they are. Number one, the one that probably everybody's heard about is a deep bite, and that is when the top teeth overlap too much compared to the bottom teeth. That is deep bite. Second one is over jet. I've talked about this in previous videos, but that is when your teeth stick out too much. So sometimes people will say that their jaw is too far back. That's sometimes we would call that an over jet issue when the top teeth are sticking out too much. Third one, way less common, is an underbite. Or we call that sometimes class three. This is an underbite. And we can fix that with rubber bands if it's not too severe. Number four, this one is not quite as common, probably more common than the underbite. Underbite is an open bite. So when you bite down, instead of going down like this, you got it down and your back teeth touch, but your front teeth don't. All right, so those are the four types. Overbite, overjet, underbite, and open bite. All right, so let's start off with the first and probably the easiest, easiest slash most common overbite. And sometimes people, when they see this or patients, when they come in, they think this is gonna be super hard to correct. Like, how do you correct an overbite? What type of rubber bands are you using? What type of crazy appliance are you using? And honestly, 90% of the time, it is just the wires. We don't even have to do anything. We don't have to um, use any special rubber bands, no special appliances, no special tools. It's all pretty much just the wires and the braces. So what happens is potentially you have a curve. If you look from the side, instead of looking straight like this, you're gonna have a curve in the mouth. And so when you put on this flat or these braces with the flat wire, instead of the wire curving down down with the teeth, it's gonna to wanna to make everything nice and straight. So what it does is instead of having this kind of curve in the arch, it makes that curve go straight. And that's actually all you need to do to fix an overbite. If you don't totally understand it, it doesn't really matter. All you need to know is to fix an overbite, it's actually just the braces and the wires that are doing all the work. Really no rubber bands really needed for that type because the wires and the braces are doing all the work. All right, that's how you fix overbite. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Let's go to the second one, which is overjet. Overjet, depending on how severe it is, you can correct it with just rubber bands. So let me show you. So this is your typical overjet type of elastic. So what it's gonna do is the teeth are typically sticking out like this. And instead of sticking so far out, these rubber bands are gonna correct it to this. So if your bite looks like this, you're gonna get these rubber bands that go from the back bottom tooth to the front canine typically is what we do. These are called class two rubber bands. Looks like that, class two rubber bands. And class two just means you have a bite where your mandible, your lower jaw is too far back. So that's all you need to do. You just need to wear some rubber bands from the top to the bottom and that's gonna help correct your teeth. Obviously, if it is too severe, then you may need to use some other appliances. If it's really severe and it's a jaw issue, then, then you, you may, may need to get, get jaw surgery, surgery which, which is a whole other topic, topic which, is which is way more intense than just some appliances or some rubber bands. So that's number two, overjet. You fix it with basically just some rubber bands. Probably, not probably, this is the most common rubber band we use. We use it on, and I'd say like 60% or 70% of the patients, we use it all the time. It's these class two rubber bands. All right, the next one is an underbite. An underbite is when the lower teeth are too far ahead as compared to the upper teeth. So this is basically the direct opposite of an overjet. The overjet is the lower jaw is too far back. Underbite is the lower jaw is too far forward. So what do you think we do with the rubber bands? We reverse it. So let's reverse it right here. Let's see, it goes from the bottom to the top. Let's see if I can get it, oh. All right, so this is how we do it. It is the direct opposite, exact opposite as the overjet rubber band. So this one is gonna go from the bottom to the top. So say your bite looks like this, it has an underbite. What we do is we reverse it to look like this. So it goes from the top to the bottom and that will help your underbite. Same thing, if it's too severe, you're probably gonna need jaw surgery, but if it's not that bad, a few millimeters and it's just some tooth movements we need to do, 
you use this type of rubber band to fix that. All right, last but not least is an open bite. So there's a bunch of different ways to correct an open bite, but this is probably our most common way. So remember, open bite is the back teeth touch, but the front teeth don't touch. And how we correct that is with a triangle or delta rubber band. And that basically is this triangle rubber band here. And it goes one from the top tooth, from the top canine tooth, the lower canine and the first premolar. Same thing, we will use that rubber band to help bring these teeth together. And this is slightly different than the other rubber bands because the other rubber bands, most of the time we have to wait till we're in these strong wires and then we kind of use the rubber bands to help push and pull and make the teeth all pretty. This one we use pretty quick. Like I'll use this one on maybe like the second visit because you want to be in these nice flowy wires to bring them vertically together. So it's a little different than the other rubber bands where you normally have to wait. All right guys, that is a quick summary on how we correct the four type of bites. Remember how we correct the overbite is typically just with the wire and the braces. How we correct an overjet is with that one type of class two rubber bands. How we correct an underbite is the opposite. The, uh, the rubber bands are opposite as the overjet. We call them class three rubber bands. And if you have an open bite, we correct it with triangle rubber bands. There you guys go. There you have it. You know how to correct your bite in case you're wondering. I hope you're a patient looking at this. And so you can remember and understand why your orthodontist is prescribing the type of rubber bands they are. So as you know, guys, I'm putting out videos every single week. So please subscribe, please comment, and I will try my best to try to respond to all the comments as best as I can. Uh, so in that case, I will see you guys next week.